Hey guys, this is Ryan with Freshwater Volvo Pentaparts.com down here in uh, in sunny Florida. A little rain, it's almost four o'clock. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to flush the, uh, the the cold water system of the of the closed water cooling system on on one of these Volvo Pentas. A lot of people ask me, you know, they can't they can't get the uh, the earmuffs on here to. Uh, to, to get the drive to suck up water when they're when they're running off the garden hose, so I don't use these earmuffs on here. You see that the, the old Swedish design has has a uh, an angle of front that that the earmuffs just don't uh, don't work on them. So anyway, what we're gonna do? I'll show you how to get around that. We're just gonna run the garden hose straight in through the uh, through the cooling hose, the cooling uptake hose that would normally run through your S hose here and then up into the, into the drive and water pump. Um, and that's how we're gonna flush out the cooling system today. Uh, a lot of people think if you have a, a closed water cooling system, essentially a radiator on your, on your uh, engine, you don't need to flush it out. Well, you do need to flush it out, flush out the cooling side of the, of the heat exchanger, as well as flushing out your exhaust manifolds and risers and adds years and years and years in life of life to them. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now and uh, hopefully you get something out of it. Okay, that's good. You can cut it right there. Okay, so now we're inside the boat. There's a 7.4 liter, you know, just like any inboard outboard on a, on a Volvo Penta, whether it's a small block of a V8, a V6, a, a big block. Uh, essentially, right back here, coming off the transom, is your raw, is your, uh, raw water uh, uptake hose. And that hose, well, let me get a, get a light and show you. That hose, right from the transom there, comes all the way up here and hits your, your raw water pump. So this is the hose that we're going to pull off here real quick. They make a little quick connect for the garden hose you can put in line on these. But for me, it's just as easy to disconnect it right here. I disconnect this every, every, every time we come in off the Gulf. Um, the system gets flushed every time, no, no exceptions, no excuses. Just it's the first thing we do when we come back here. So essentially, all we're going to do is pull that hose and dram the garden hose right down in there. And let her go. Now, first of all, what you have to remember before you ever start this on the on your trailer or anywhere else for that matter, always put the drive in the in the down position um, because if not, it's going to stress the uh, U joints, and you're going to find yourself a Volvo mechanic real real soon. Uh, so you drop that all the way down in the drive position. And now what's happening is, rather than trying to pull all that water, vacuuming it up from the drive all the way to your crank mounted water pump, it's right there. You're not. You're, you're getting your cooling water uh, that bypasses the whole thing. Now what this is doing is all the water's flowing through here, cleaning out all the salt water in your heat exchanger. Uh, it's exiting through your exhaust risers and and uh, and elbows and, and exhaust manifolds, and it's flushing all that all that salt water out. Uh, and like I say, it's going to add years and years to the life of your exhaust manifolds, your heat exchanger, your your uh, your motor in general. Just a great idea. So, and and this is the same thing whether you have a heat exchanger or not. Um, you can you can run this on your on your motor that's just lake water cooled or or fresh water cooled. Um, so anyway, let her run for about five or ten minutes. See if you see any other other issues or problems that need to be addressed, and, uh, and seal her back up. What you do want to make sure of when you're flushing all of this stuff out that you're getting good water flow out of your transom, out of your exhaust uh, flapper. 
uh, all of that stuff. Because if anything's plugged up, that's going to cause you overheating problems, everything else. Uh, so while you're letting this run and flush the motor out, just take a look around and, uh, and see how things are going. Um, all right. If you need fresh water, or if you need uh, fresh water, volvopentaparts.com. Go to our website, check out, uh, check out all the parts we've got available. Uh, all right, have a great day.